now that we have Unity Hub downloaded, let's open it. And it's going to look like this, where we have a little window pop up. And if this is your first time installing Unity in the Unity Hub, it's going to let you know that the latest version of Unity is available for install. I want you to go ahead and select Skip Installation. We can download multiple versions of Unity at any time through the Unity Hub. There's a few tabs that are really important in the Unity Hub. We have a Projects tab. As you begin building video games and applications with Unity, all of the projects across all of the different versions of Unity that you have are going to be stored right here. In the Installs tab, this is where we can actually install the editor. In fact, we can install multiple versions of the Unity editor. You'll see here in the official releases, nothing is populated. We should see some options here. But if you click on Install Editor, um, we can then see those options. You can see here that when we click the Install button, there's official releases. There's 2021 and 2020. And then if we look at the pre-releases or archive, um, you can get older versions of Unity. It's very common that when you work professionally, as well as your own personal projects, you will have multiple versions of Unity installed and you'll be hopping around between those projects. The Unity Hub is going to take care of which version you last opened your project with. For this Unity 101 course, we are going to be using the 2021.3 OTS. However, it is likely that throughout this course, in other courses found on Game Dev HQ, you will need to download Unity 2020 LTS versions. So select the LTS version we want, which is the 2021, and select Install. The next thing we want to make sure we do is that it's going to include the Microsoft Visual Studio Community 2019, which I already have it installed, so it's not allowing me to select it. But you want to make sure that Microsoft Visual Studio Community 2019 is selected. The next thing we can take a look at here is if I want to support Android build development. If I want to build for TV OS or iOS, I can include those as well. For now, I'm just going to include Android as well as the ability to build to web, which is web build support. The last thing I recommend you do is as you go through courses in more advanced Unity and C Sharp areas, an optimization technique is built into uh, the Windows build support, the IL2 CPP. This is actually what allows our applications to run at native speeds across devices, and it's something we definitely want to include. From there, it's optional if you want to include documentation. This is just a local copy of the current Unity documentation. It's actually not a bad idea to include that. In case you're on a laptop, you're working remotely, or you're offline, you can still um, read the Unity documentation. Once we have everything looking good here, We'll go ahead and select Continue, read the terms and conditions, and select Install. I'll see you in the next video where we're going to create a new Unity project and go over the Unity Editor.